Hello, my name is Warrior3456, and today we'll be opening a Yu-Gi-Oh! 10, let's see if it says which one, the 20, uh, 2110 of the Agent Battles. I can read upside down. And this took a little while to get a hold of. I had to buy it off of Amazon. I think they're marked down like $11 to clear out like two years ago stock, but that's not a bad thing. Let's see if I can open this without scratching the tin. I want to try to get through the plastic and not ruin the pretty tin, but I don't know if I can or not if these scissors will be sharp enough to... poke through. Let's see here. Uh, okay, come on. Nice. We're in. Okay, let me go ahead and peel these off. And here we go. I should be able to get into the bottom of it. Okay, onto the cards. And it's upside down. Let me go ahead and flip the right side up. So I really like what Yu-Gi-Oh! does with their tins. So we have the blue eyes white dragon fighting the dark magician. There we go, it finally focused. And a bunch of hieroglyphs, which I don't really know much about them, but from what I remember from school, the hieroglyphics are basically a small picture of what they're trying to say. So basically this thing that looks like a chicken probably talking about a chicken. This thing looks like a fish. They're probably talking about a fish. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and open this now after we're done with your history lesson. And here we go. So I believe there is three packs of the tin of the, let's see, 2021 tin of Agent Battles. Yep. Okay, so we get three of these bad boys and each one's got 18 cards inside. One prismatic rare, I think, one or two holographics, and I forget what the last one is, if it's just a regular rare. And I do not know the pack trick for Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry if you heard that, the sound of the scissors moving hit the tin. We'll go ahead and snip off the top. And let's pull these bad boys out. And we have our first card. A Melfi Playhouse, followed up with an Ibica, let's see, Ibicella Lute or Lutea, I'm not sure, some kind of big plant monster, 1800 tag, not bad. Okay, and our next thing is a Melfi Tag, followed up with a Link card of Code Talker Inverted. Not bad. And then we have, let's see, Gookie, the Power Load Ogre. Okay, that guy looks very anime. Okay, let's move on. We have Torpedo Takedown. Followed up with a Virtual World, the Kayubi uh, Shin Shin. Okay. Or Shin Tin. I'm not entirely sure. I assume it's Shin Shin. And it is a very pretty foil card. We will put that aside here for the end of the video. And then we have a foil Titan coder. And then we have a prismatic uh, starlight looking thing of Shadow Schism. And we'll put that aside. Okay, we're getting a lot of cool cards out of here. And then we have Dogmatica. Let me try and read this. Flirtius Venited. Or Flirdellis. Okay. And then on the end, we have the Phantom Knight of Torn Scales 2 on the end here. It's a very nice card. We will set those aside here. And then we have a Virtual World Shell, a Jaja, -ja, or Ha Ha, but it's spelt with like the Spanish pronunciation. We'll put that aside and we have Witchcrafter Unveiling, Witchcrafter Patronus, Marensis Bowel, let's see, Basilomelina or 
Basila Lima. We're going to go with that one. And then we have Dracoon Lamp. Along with uh, Jacko Bolin. Okay, that's a cool zombie looking card. And on the end, man, that's a high level card. We have AI Love Fusion. Okay, we'll go ahead and sit to those aside here. And go ahead and open up a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I believe there's one more Yu-Gi-Oh game on the DS I haven't played. I think I played the first two and I haven't played the final one. Because I played the reverse of the Arcadia movement and let's see, what is the last one that I can't think of? Okay, the last one is Over the Nexus and the first one I played was 2009 Stardust. Accelerator? I wanted to say simulator, but I don't think that's right. And we have Deep Sea Sentry. So we have Aquaman, followed up with Infernoble Knight, Captain Oliver. A Fire Emblem character, I guess. No. Mutually a third destruction. We have Raid Raptors, Phantom Knight's Claw. A Soldier Gaia, the Fierce Knight. So I guess he's lost his horse. And then we have Speedroid, a block and roll. Another Roid card. Anyway, we have Super Heavy Samurai Swordsmaster Musashi. That is a pretty cool card, if I can get a good look at it. And let's see, here on the end we have Infernal Knight, Captain Roland. And then our prismatic rare is Virtual World Roshi uh, Leo Leo or Lao Lao. It could be Lao Lao. I'm not sure. Uh, Virtual World Roshi. Anyway, that's a nice prismatic card. And then we have Mahama the Fairy Dragon, which I believe is it looks like a ghost rare, but I'm not sure if it is. Very nice card. Anyway, let me go ahead and open this and let's see what card we get. So we have Virtual World Curran Lily, followed up with Union Driver for a regular rare. So we'll go ahead and set those aside. We have Joyous Melfies. We have Kuji Kiri Curse, Lifeless Leaf Fish. That's a cool looking card. Uh, three range monsters. A Melfi Finny. And a Light Dragon Ag At Einster. Beats me. I'm not sure what the at symbol is supposed to be pronounced. You say at Ignister. Ignister. I think I'm going to have a stroke trying to pronounce some of these names of the cards. And let me go ahead and open the last pack here, if I can keep from getting interrupted by people making a noise. Let me go ahead and open the final pack here, and we have a Magical Broker. We have Awakening of the Possessed uh, Gagagiobite. Curse of Dragon, the Curse to Dragon. Okay, that's a cool looking card. And then we have Gluttonous Repto Reptolphin Griefus, Disposable Learner Device, Goki Guts. Okay, and then on the end we have Melfi of the Forest, which looks like a ghost rare. I think that's what some of these are. Let me go ahead and move on to the Thunder Hand. That's a pretty cool looking card. And then for our Prismatic Rare, we have the Seliglare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon, who is very luminous, if you couldn't tell. And then we have Alpha, the Master of Beast, for another foil card that is very cool looking. Followed up with uh, Trias. Hierarchia, 
which is a very pretty fairy card, the foil, and then our rare is Virtual World Great, <laughs> let's see, Oin Glong, maybe, I'm not sure, and then we have Drill, Driver, Vespinato, Nine Life's Cat, Kujikiri Curse again, Capricious Dark Lord, Trent Cicada, and another Dragoon Lamp, making our rares here. We have Melfi of the Forest, Thunderhand, the Luminous Lunar Dragon again. Let's see, Selly Glare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon, Alpha, the Master of Beast, Trias, Hierarchia, Virtual World Gate, and Oinglong. And then we have Bahama, the Fairy Dragon, followed up with Virtual World, Kirin Lily, Union Driver, Virtual World, Roshi Lil. Lay Lao or Lay or Lao Lao or something like that. Super Heavy Samurai Swordmaster Musashi, Infernal Knight, Captain Roland, Virtual World Shell, uh, Haha, and then we have Dogmatica, Flirtius Venitus, uh, Venited, not the Nidus, uh, Phantom Knights of the Torn Scales. Shadow Schism, Titanocider, and then we have Virtual World Kyubi Shin Shin. So don't forget to like and subscribe for the opening of this 2021 Ten of the Agent Gods. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.